going to talk today about the two knives that I tend to carry the most once I get the most use. And I guess what comes right down to it, the knives that are actually my favorites. Um, it's funny, I was talking to Joe about this a while ago. And he asked what knives I like to use for carving, and I told him, and he just sort of laughed. But my favorite knife, and the one that gets carried more often than anything else, this one. Swiss Army knife. Let's call it officer model. Um, and that's the blade I use most, the pen knife. It's got a longer blade on it, it has a can opener, it has a flat screwdriver and a bottle opener. It has an awl, a screwdriver, uh, you know, the standard things. This knife is in my pocket almost all the time. Um, I use it when I'm working. I use it a lot when I'm working, and, and this is the blade I use. Um, I find it really good for sharpening pencils. I find it good for trimming little bits of, if I'm doing a trim or something like that. And depending on which side of the blade, the cut you want, like the, the say you do a miter, and depending on which side of it is, it doesn't always cut right through because it, it releases before it has a chance to cut through. You can use this just to trim that off or, or just cut the, the bevel a little, trim the bevel a bit to make it fit a bit better basically. Um, so that's what I end up using this for most of the time. And you know, it's a it's a great knife. The only complaint I'd have is where the little key ring is on it, and then that little bump thing. Focus. Yeah, focus there. Anyways, where this little ring sits right there. Oh, there we go. And then that bump, so that when you if you're pushing here with your thumb this way, it digs in a little bit. But for the most part, it's not much of an issue at all. It just doesn't seem to become a problem. I mean, if that wasn't there, it would be okay. It would be maybe a bit better, but it doesn't... I mean, it's not a hindrance that it is there. So, there's that one. And that one, I mean, literally that knife's in my pocket every day. I have backups in case I lose it. I have two more. Um, I'm hoping to wear the blade out on this one. So it's the only knife I've ever completely worn the blade out. And it'll eventually it'll happen. But. And I usually maintain this knife on whatever I've got. If it's dull and I'm working on site, I'll sharpen it on a, on a belt sander. I'll sharpen it on, if it's not running anyways, um, I'll sharpen it on, on, a, on a piece of a brick, sharpening stone, sandpaper, whatever. It takes an edge, it holds, it holds the edge long enough, it works really well. The other knife that I carry that gets a lot of use, the open on number 8. Um, this tends to be in my pocket a lot of the times, and it tends to get used mostly for food preparation. I don't tend to use it for much else than that. Uh, I recently took it with me on a trip to Florida. Um, it was great because the place that we rented had a bunch of Tramontina knives that were serrated, but dull to the point where they just they wouldn't even cut. Like they were. So I used this for a week to make meals for six people. Yeah, six people. And and it worked fantastic. I mean, and I, I had my little DMT um, folding stone with me that I just touched the edge up on with it. Um, the only issue I find with this is some, you do get a bit of corrosive edge loss if you're cutting tomatoes or, you know, if you spend an afternoon making margaritas and you're cutting limes up, you know, the knife sort of gets dull just like your senses. <laughs> Anyways, um, it's a good knife. So it's it's interesting because it's it's fairly loose right now, but, or it's, sorry, it's, it's, loose-ish, but in the winter it's really loose to the point where you can do this and it'll flop right open. And it's almost dangerous because this little ring here gets loose too. Um, and I've had it open in my pocket a couple times, even twisted and locked. It'll still it'll still unlock, which uh, I've thought about tightening it up, but now of course it's humid in summertime. It's, it's snug enough that it's not not really a problem. I mean, you can, the nice thing about this is you can't open it with one hand. I like that. Um, you can't do that with the Swiss Army knife. So there are times when I'm when I'm working with it that if I want to use you know the blip in my pocket and I pull it out and I need to use two hands to open it for the most part I could you could do it but it's not I mean, it's not impossible but it's not always the most convenient thing to do um, but yeah those are my two uh, two favorite knives that get used more than any of the other ones I have I mean. I still carry some of the other ones. I'll throw the grub rabbit in my pocket because I, I like the knife, um, but I very rarely use it. It's something that'll be in my pocket, but I, I don't very often cut anything with it. Um, anyways.
Yeah, I don't know. I mean, my wife's taking my pair. My pair of military too is her own, so I don't have that to carry anymore. Um, well, I've got my 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 GEC, the Great Eastern Cutlery. The um, I'll make a review on that shortly, and that's another really nice knife. Um, but that one's almost too pretty. Like I don't want to. I keep it in that little leather case in my pocket, and I don't want to really wreck it. It's I like it. I probably should have got the one with the wooden handles instead, because I'd probably end up using it more because the with the the horn handles on it, it well they scratch and anyways doesn't matter. So just a quick little thought on what a couple of my favorite knives are.